Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice quadratic equation x to the power 4 minus 8x cubed plus 17x squared is equal to 8x minus 1. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. First we write this equation in standard form. x to the power 4 minus 8x cubed plus 17x squared. Move this 8x to the left hand side, this will become negative 8x. This negative 1 will become plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, if we divide this 1 by the coefficient of this x to the power 4, 1, 1 divided by 1 is equal to 1 and factors of 1 are plus minus 1. If we check 1 in this equation, 1 is not a solution and if we check negative 1 in this equation, negative 1 is not a solution. So, let us use another trick. We divide the whole equation by x squared. We divide each term by x squared. 8x cubed divided by x squared. 17x squared divided by x squared. Negative 8x divided by x squared and 1 divided by x squared, 0 divided by x squared. Now, this x to the power 4 divided by x squared will become x squared minus 8x cubed divided by x squared will become 8x plus uh, this uh, x squared will be cancelled with this x squared we are left with 17 minus 8x divided by x squared will become 8 over x plus uh, this 1 over x squared is equal to 0 divided by x squared is 0. Now, we combine these two terms x squared and 1 over x squared and we combine these two terms negative 8x minus 8 over x. So, this will become x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 8 times x minus 8 divided by x plus 17 is equal to 0. Next, x squared plus uh, this 1 is same as 1 squared. So, we can write this uh, expression 1 squared over x squared as uh, 1 over x whole squared. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out negative 8. In bracket left, x plus uh, 1 over x plus uh, this 17 is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared plus uh, b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared minus 2ab. This uh, x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared can be written as uh, x plus uh, 1 over x whole squared minus 2 times x times 1 over x minus this expression 8 times x plus 1 over x plus 17 is equal to 0. Now, this x will be considered with this x and this will become x plus 1 over x whole squared. We write this in negative 8 times x plus 1 over x first, negative 8 times x plus 1 over x. This negative 2 plus 17 will become plus 15 is equal to 0. Now, we suppose that this uh, x plus 1 over x is equal to t. Let x plus uh, 1 over x is equal to t. So, this equation will become t squared minus 8 times t plus uh, 15 is equal to 0. 
Now this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this t squared. We split this negative 8t as a negative 3 times t minus 5 times t plus 15 is equal to 0. From these two terms we can factor out t. In back left t minus 3. From these two terms we can factor out negative 5 in back left t t minus 3 is equal to 0 and this t minus 3 is a common factor t minus 3 as common factor in back left t minus 5 is equal to 0 from here either this expression t minus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression t minus 5 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of t is equal to 3 and from this equation we get the value of t is equal to 5. Now we recall that we have suppose we have suppose that x plus 1 over x is equal to t. We have suppose that x plus 1 over x is equal to t. So, when t is equal to 3, then this will become x plus 1 over x is equal to 3. And when t is equal to 5, then this will become x plus 1 over x is equal to 5. From this equation, if we multiply both sides of this equation by x, this implies that x squared plus 1 is equal to 3 times x. Move this 3x to the left hand side, this will become x squared minus 3 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. And this quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative times the value of b is negative 3 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared, we write in negative 3 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times the c is 1 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next, x is equal to negative times negative 3 will become positive 3 plus minus square root of this uh, negative 3 squared is uh, 9 negative 4 times 1 times 1 will become negative 4 divided by this 2 times 1 2 next x is equal to 3 plus minus square root of uh, this uh, 9 minus 4 will become 5 divided by 2 now we solve this equation. If we multiply both sides of this equation by x, then this implies that x squared plus 1 is equal to 5 times x. Move this 5x to the left hand side, this will become x squared minus 5 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. In this quadratic equation is not factorable, we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative times b is negative 5 plus minus the square root of in place of b squared, we write negative 5 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 1 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next, x is equal to negative times negative 5 will become positive 5 plus minus square root of this negative 5 squared will become 25 minus 4 times 1 times 1 minus 4 divided by 2 times 1 2 next x is equal to 5 plus minus square root of 
25 minus 4 is 21 divided by 2. So, from this equation we get two values of x. x1 is equal to 3 plus root 5 over 2 and x2 is equal to 3 minus root 5 over 2. And from this equation we get other two values x3 is equal to 5 plus uh, root 21 over 2 and uh, x4 is equal to 5 minus uh, root 21 over 2. So, these are the four solutions of uh, this equation.